Hey, this is Nick Moke with Digital Trends. We're here at Cedia 2010. I'm holding the Samsung Tab, which in, in itself is a very cool device, but it's actually running something that's much cooler than that. Uh, it's actually running a home automation app called R2. I'm standing here with Blake, who actually developed the app. He's the founder of Sling Media. Uh, Blake, how did this actually come to be? Uh, you worked on this in your free time? Um, yeah, so... Uh, I've been taking a little time off after uh, I left Sling. You know, we had a we had a nice uh, acquisition uh, a few years ago by Echo Star, and and uh, working on a pretty extensive remodel in our house. And uh, I had a bunch of free time, so I decided to start building uh, building a system uh, as part of this. Uh, I wanted to build a next generation house, basically for media distribution and home control. And I started building it off of the Crestron development platform and the Crestron processors. And uh, you know, Crestron has has a bunch of proprietary touch panels, which they've historically had. But what they've also had um, recently is they started to release an app that runs on iPhone and iPad. And I started going down that path. And I love my my iPad, iPhone. I don't love so much anymore. Um, um, but uh, you know, I started realizing all these great Android devices that are coming down down the pike. And some of these phones are amazing, and like the Samsung Tab and and the Dell Streak and others. Um, it's like, wait a second, I, I really want to like run this Crestron stuff on, on those devices as well. And uh, the Crestron guys hadn't done that yet, and so uh, one thing led to another, and I basically built this Android app to talk to Crestron and um, use it for my home, but then it, it, it's so cool, I kind of said, oh, we got to like get it out in the public and let other people play with it and use it. And So I partnered with Crestron and we're, we're unveiling it here uh, today. Uh, do you think you could actually uh, show us some of the uh, the things that we can actually do with it here? Sure, sure. So, um, well, actually, why don't you hold it? All right, yeah, we'll, we'll switch now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so what we have here is uh, this is a, a Crestron project uh, that the Crestron guys wrote um, for their booth. Now, you can change the user interface for your home. It can look very different, and I, I'll show you a quick screenshot of of maybe a project from my home in a second, but. But basically here, we, uh, we just connect. Uh, you can, you know, this is uh, for, for changing the lights, you know, up and down. Uh, they have a metaphor, UI metaphor here, where you can get like sort of quick launch, get the stuff that you want. If you want like the shades, you know, for example, to go, to go down, you know, it can, so forth. Um, you know, control your, your, your HVAC, you know, your heating and ventilation. But it really, the, the app that I wrote, can basically look very different depending on what the installer wants to do. So here um, is actually connected back to my home. And I don't want to do too much because my wife is going to start screaming at me. But uh, you know, as you see, the UI looks very, very, very different. Actually, arguably a little more simpler uh, than this one. But everyone wants different themes and so forth. But it's all the same. It's all the same software application, just different graphics and different projects that people can build. So, um, and it just works. I mean, the cool thing for Crestron developers, um, what, what we tried to do here is make it so they don't have to learn any new development tools. They don't need to learn uh, any new graphics tools. They have something called VT Pro and simple windows that most developers, Crestron developers use. They just use the same darn tools, build it for an iPad, an iPhone, whatever, and it'll just run on the Android. So it's, uh, it's pretty fun stuff. So I realize this is in private beta testing right now. When can we expect this to actually hit the Android market and Crestron uh, owners right now can actually take advantage of it? Yeah, good question. So first off, we're doing a, um, uh, an invitation-only beta right now. And so for all of you out here who are, who are Crestron developers, please, I'd love for you to sign up and bang on this thing. Um, we're really happy with the performance so far, but we need feedback from folks like you. Um, and so uh, you can sign up for an invitation-only beta uh, by sending an email to androidbeta at id8group.com. Um, I, I think if everything goes well, we'll probably launch something by the end of October. And uh, it'll be available on the Google Store, probably under the R2 name. Uh, and uh, I, I'm thinking right now we'll probably have a free version that'll be relatively limited but let you do some stuff and then a premium version, which is very much like how Crestron and other guys have been doing it. Premium version will probably be like a $99 uh, app, which you know, compared to the, the early days when you had touch panels that were proprietary and were thousands of dollars, it's actually a pretty darn good deal. Well, we look forward to giving it a shot. Blake, thank you for talking to us. Thank you. Again, this is Nick for Digital Trends. Thanks for watching.